Welcome, so here we are at week two. This week, previously, you've been focusing on visualizing, asking what if this dream that is your intention has become your reality and what that looks like, what the shapes and feels and all the other details have entered your mind and entered your experience. And so now let's talk about the next steps as far as the retreat and what this process is gonna look like step by step and day by day, excuse me. So first off, when you come down here, we're gonna have a private secure driver pick you up from the airport. The airport is like the size of a Walmart. It's very small. And so you're basically gonna walk through customs. They're gonna ask you like two or three questions, shovel you along, and then you're gonna jump out and talk to and see our driver with your name on a sign. And he's gonna shuffle you over to his vehicle and you'll have your own driver straight to our facility, which is a private gated facility. And so you'll be safe and sound. And so after you're there, we're gonna have an opening ceremony. We're gonna have an incredible dinner. We're gonna have like a little meet and greet type experience where everybody gets to talk and get to know each other. And then we're gonna have an intention setting experience at the end of the night. And so that's kind of day one as you get there. Let me scroll back a couple seconds and talk about like what to bring, you know, how to prepare yourself. Uh, we'll talk more about the actual experiences and like, you know, the breakthroughs and like what to do in the process on our next, uh, next video call. And so, you know, as far as what to bring is casual, it's Mexico, sandals, swimsuits, uh, comfortable clothes, clothes to do yoga, clothes to just do basic movement and things that make you feel comfortable. And so it's always 70s, 80s degrees, um, sunny 300 days a year, so you have sensitive skin. It's a great idea to bring sunscreen, especially this type of sunscreen you'd like to you know, use for yourself. And if you do forget anything, taxi driver or the, the private driver is more than happy to bring you to an ATM to get cash for tips or to a clothing, uh, excuse me, a pharmacy to get like any types of like lotion, sunscreen, you know, uh, toiletries, anything else you might need. Um, our facilities, we don't really have blow dryers. And so if you need a blow dryer, you wanna bring one. Everything that you need to plug in, like phone chargers, everything else is the same as it is in the States. And so that's kind of like the overall gist of like what to bring in a smiling face, positive attitude and uh and just yourself it's really just you just have to show up and um and that will be fantastic and so what else do we need um i'll take this moment to mention this if you're on any prescription medications if you like you know or a strong coffee drinker heavy coffee drinker if um you are any taking anything that affects your mind mood <clears throat> excuse me um, or sleeping meds, pain meds, uh, anti-anxiety, antidepressants, um, things along those lines, opiates or alcohol, anything you might be addicted to. Now, I'll mention this in a week two, now's a good time to start phasing that back and weaning that off because we're not um, a rehab facility and we're also a detox uh, experience. And so you need to be off of these things and also, especially since a lot of these medications affect the psilocybin experience. And so you're coming down to this for a profound experience and a breakthrough. And in order for it to be 100% effective, you need to be off of these things. And so you can have that pure experience where your mind and your nervous system and your brain and your uh, and, and your chemistry isn't affected by like outside forces, like chemicals and other and medicines and other things like that. And so you can have that natural experience that the medicine takes you into. And so I'll say that now, and it's really helpful just to start phasing it back little by little so you have minimum withdrawal symptoms. It would require 48 hours before the retreat off of anything that affects your mind, mood, uh, and um, in any medication, any alcohol, any anything that is like an inhibitor or, um, or anything else, <laughs> basically. So that's that. And while you're at the experience, I know we've talked on the phone or you've talked with one of our team members. And so you're gonna be doing things like yoga, you're gonna be doing hypnotherapy, you're gonna be doing ice bath, and you're gonna be doing uh, you know, in incredible uh, sessions with our breakthrough, uh, with our psychotherapist that we call breakthrough sessions. Those are all one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, you're gonna be going on a private boat tour. You're gonna be going on a little excursion. 
And so you just want to bring stuff that you normally just feel comfortable in, you know, relaxed and, you know, have that flexibility to just kind of, you know, move about and uh, you don't need to do anything too drastic or anything. Um, if you do want to go off of the retreat and do something in town, go shopping, you know, check out a restaurant, you know, go fishing, go kayaking, go um, paddle boarding, you know, <clears throat> there's a number of things you can do around the area. Um, it's totally okay. We have two days where you're going to have some free time where you can kind of break off and do your own thing. Um, it, the free time, the free time is like in the afternoon usually. And so, um, that's always available. A lot of people just choose to stay at the retreat. It's beautiful. It's private. It's secluded. It's secure. And so we like to just kind of leave that opportunity open. If you do have something you want to do, look, take a look at the schedule and you know, our providers can help you kind of put the, the schedule in the right time where you're going to be able to go do the experiences that you want to do if you do feel called to do that while you're down there. And so for the rest, you're going to be getting massages while you're here. Um, you want to make sure to bring any essential medication that you do need for like asthma, for keeping you know a regular heart rate. A lot of people have like high blood pressure, low blood pressure, things along those lines. You know, thyroid medication, um, you know, anything that you take that doesn't affect your mind or mood, but is you know, essential to your health, we want to make sure you bring that so you have like the right types of, you know, medicine to support your stability and your health and everything while you're here. And nothing that we do is really too strenuous. Uh, we have participants like 70s, 80s that come through and participate in everything that we offer and they have an amazing experience. We just had uh, a guy named Bill come down last week and um, he's actually leaving, he just left today. And um, 77 years old, just absolutely rocked it out for this entire eight day retreat and had a, had a blast. He just shot us a really incredible video testimonial. So um, yeah, it's really all ages, all body types and uh, we work around you if you have some sort of, you know, physical constraint or something that, you know, um, is, you know, your comfort is going to be key for going through this experience. And so we'll work with you on that. And so, yeah, that's it. As far as like what to bring, what the scope is going to be like, you know, what the experience is going to be like, where you're here. We have a schedule that we follow, um, for the entire week. We'll send that to you usually, uh, two days before the retreat, once everything's kind of set in stone, as far as, you know, the, um, schedule for our providers and our staff and everything else like that. And so we'll send it over. You'll have that itinerary to go off of for the week and it'll be an amazing experience. And so I'm so looking forward for you guys coming down. This, uh, this session is more about kind of just preparation, getting it in your mind, like what this is going to look like, going over some of those details. And if you got any questions, you can always hit up our business line, which is 650-900-7741. And we can fill in the blanks on anything you might have uh, as far as questions. And now is a good time to also think about if there's anyone else that might be interested in this experience. You might want to bring them down. You might want to suggest it to them. I know you're in a state where you're super excited. You're about ready to go through this incredible experience. And it's a great experience to kind of bring someone along with you um, or invite someone else on board as well. So that'll be it for week two. Uh, this next week, week three, I'm going to go over all the coaching for the psilocybin trip, what you need to know about the experience, whether it's your first time or your hundredth time. Who knows? It might be someone's hundredth time, right? And so, um, you got, yeah, so um, we're going to go over all the steps and all the necessary things to really prepare your mind, really prepare your body, and really know what to do through each step of the journey so you have a successful and profound experience. So much love. This is such a pleasure connecting with you guys. I hope you have the best experience ever. We will make sure it happens, and it's going to be incredible. Woo! We'll see you soon.